This video is brought to you by the Small Rig W60 wireless microphone. What if you want lots of bass, a stylish outer housing, and a decent cable, but you only want to spend $35? Well, that's where the Kiwi Ears cadenzas come in. But they do one thing so well, I'm convinced it alone makes these things worth the purchase. Find out my thoughts on these great little IEMs in my review of the Kiwi Ears cadenza. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Thomas, Rust Enjoyer and 5000 hour CSGO noob. When Lin Salt first offered to send out the Kiwi Ears condenser, I was a little bit confused and actually I'm going to be honest, a little bit underwhelmed. Sure they got a cool design and everything, but at $35 I didn't think they were going to be all that good. And I also found that they just seemed to lack that wow factor, that reason to buy with them. I haven't seen reviews online that send a cult following over or anything like that, so I thought Okay, we'll try these out, we'll see what they're like. Let's go over the basic information first. I mean, they're a $35 single dynamic driver. They come with a basic, yet yeah, fairly nice two pin cable, some silicone ear tips, and most importantly, they're available in four distinct colors. That's the first thing that catches your eye with these. They are really pretty. I have the solo or green color here. They do look dashing. There's a flaky sparkly texture behind the gloss pebble clear coat. They look and feel really smooth and in your ear they feel great too. They're one of the most comfortable IEMs I've ever used. Let's talk about fit. It's not just about the shape of your ear and obviously everyone has different shaped ears. These could not fit you in the slightest but for me they are pretty much perfect. It's not necessarily just the shape that impressed me. These are some of the lightest IEMs I've ever used. I mean they feel fake. They feel like cheap plastic toys um, as if they're sort of like display models prototypes if you will but you put them in your ear and you start listening and they, they do not sound like they feel they feel light they feel airy but then you listen to them and there's a lot of bass there's a lot of low end there's a lot of rumble to them it just doesn't match in a good way might i add i mean these things sound really good but they just don't feel it. I mean, they feel good, but they just feel too light. It doesn't feel like there's any kind of driver inside. That alone is quite powerful because it feels, I mean, you just don't notice these things in your ears. I mean, you could sit there, listen to music for five, six hours, as I have done, and just not feel like they're in your ear. No fatigue, no you know soreness. They just don't feel like they're there, but you hear this grand sound. Now I will get into sound quickly before we get on to the accessories and stuff. The sound is, there's a lot of low end, so bass heads, you're going to be quite happy with these. They don't sound quite, they don't go quite as deep as say the PR1 Pros or the Timeless AE, but I did find that they went plenty deep, deeper than a lot of IEMs in this category, and they're more of a lean back IEM versus a lean forward IEM. That is to say that they're very chill. I mean, you stick these in your ears, you sort of lower the volume a little bit, you listen to some albums for hours on end maybe whilst you're studying like i've done or whilst editing and again you don't notice them in your ears physically but from a sound standpoint they also don't scream at you they don't chuck detail at you they don't they don't they're not shouty in any way they're chill with a nice amount of bass you know not crazy detail resolution however i did find that the sound stage and actually the imaging was quite impressive watching back a few of my counter-strike clips with these in you can hear the footsteps around you really really easily and actually from which direction they're coming from you can quite easily pinpoint them whilst using the condensers which isn't something i was expecting given that it's not a super high resolution iem it's not something where you do pick out the crazy high frequencies it's more sort of just the imaging itself like the placement of where the audio is coming from This video is brought to you by Small Rig and its W60 wireless microphone. This set is light, convenient, and a great tool for videographers, either amateur or professional. The two mics charge in this battery case and can be clipped to the talent as to record audio, whether you're here, here, or even over here. Check out where you can buy the W60 wireless microphone with the link in this video's description. And a massive thank you to Small Rig for sponsoring today's content. All audio for this segment was recorded with the W60. 
The included silicone tips and the included cable are about what you'd expect for this price. There's no case included, which is to be expected. I did feel like, you know, this kind of matches the price point. It's a unique-ish cable. It's not like the uh, KZ cables where they are like completely like smooth, but there's an internal sort of texture to them. These cables are a two wire sort of twisted. They're rubbery, fairly light, fairly supple to be quite honest. Terminates in a nice metal right angled connector, which I was quite impressed with, felt quite good. But because it's a standard two pin, you could put your own two pin cables on here with no real issue. So it's very basic, doesn't come with a case, doesn't come with any additional accessories, but actually the feeling of them is really smooth, really nice, they sit in your ear well, the sound is good, the imaging is good. These aren't going to blow you away. I did feel like on a technicality level, the 7 hz zeros are better. I mean, you just hear more, there's more resolution, they're more technical, but with these, they're just more chill. That's basically what these are. These are a really, really chill IEM never had any issue with sort of driver flex where you push them in your ear and the sound distorts these are actually some of the best i've used for that kind of thing whether you're gaming listening to music you know as long as you're not really into sort of a linear flat curve these will be good for you good amount of bass you know some sparkliness to the highs but not too much you know it's fairly chill and it just gives you that that relaxing relaxing that relaxing feeling when you're listening to them so I want to give a massive shout out to Linsol for sending out these IMs. I really do appreciate it. Checking these out was um, really nice. Actually, I'm recommending these to a few people that I know. So um, definitely check them out. Uh, links in the description. Please do like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I've been Ryan Thomas and I'll catch you later. Peace.